Hello fellow Sublime Text fanatics, Odat Nerd here and welcome to this video where we're going to be covering a package I've been working on in my spare time called Snappy, which allows you to look at the Sublime Text API documentation and other official documentation from directly within Sublime Text itself. If you follow me on my live streams, you've seen me using this package and uh, Now's your chance to actually try it out. No, it's not officially released yet, uh, but I have been using it for quite some time, and I thought mm, it's about time to let the world see, and uh, you can provide input on its further development. And before we jump in, I'd just like to point out that I do do live streams uh, once a week. There's a link to that down in the description if you'd like to follow those when they happen. And of course, you can also subscribe to this channel and hit the bell notification icon if you'd like to see more videos on this channel when they become available. And I will do a video on anything that someone has a question about. If you have a question about package development or Sublime in general, leave a question in the comment section below or hit me on Twitter at OdatNerd and we'll see what we can come up with. But for now, let's go ahead and dive on into Sublime and take a look at this package. <laughs> Now, as I said, the package we're going to be viewing here is Snappy, which allows you to view the Sublime Text official documentation directly from within Sublime. Now, the name Snappy comes from the fact that it was originally conceived to display the API documentation for while you're working on plugins. And uh, over time, the scope sort of snowballed to include all of the available Sublime Text documentation. Now, the key I'm going to be using here predominantly is Shift Super H, or on the Windows, on Windows that's the Windows key. On Mac OS, it's the uh, Command key, and so on. Now, this, this package works across all of the platforms that Sublime Text works on. Now, that particular key binding in Snappy is context sensitive, and will try to do the best it can to provide you help for directly uh, the word under the cursor. So, for example, if the cursor is in the shell command, and I hit the key binding. We get a help view that immediately shows us that shell command uh, is what the option is and how it works. And similarly, the same would work if we were on the file variable and did the same thing. We can immediately jump to this to know that file is the full path, including folder, to the file in the active view. Now, along with being able to do that, uh, of course, full um, history is supported. So by using alt left and alt right, I can go back through the history of help to look at the topics that I have previously looked at. I can also press H to view the history and to see the topics that I have looked up. Now, of course, a help system is nothing without the ability to jump to other help. And these uh, items that are underlined, you can press enter to immediately jump to the appropriate place. And those topics will look up and jump to the appropriate location. I can also point out, if I just bring my mouse over here for a second, that if you hover your mouse over one of these links, it tells you exactly where it's going to be linking to. Now, as another example of this, it also works in color schemes where we might be curious about what variables are for. And when we hit the key, it will take us to a system, the help for color schemes and give us information on that particular item as well. And of course, we could also come down here into the globals and hit the key and view the global keys right there. Uh, by using go to symbol, you can immediately jump through sections of any particular help file to find the action that you are looking for. And again, as I said, this is originally intended to work with the Sublime Text API. And so if we were to come over here and drop our cursor in a particular key, a particular word and hit the key, we can look up the help on the window class here. We could also uh, look up this particular item here as well and see what lookup symbol in index does. And if you're unsure of what a location is, just hit the key, go over, see that a location is a tuple, and then immediately hop on back to where you came from. 
if you use the key and it doesn't know where uh, any particular help for under the current cursor location, for example, here, this isn't anything, you jump immediately to the root of the help for the appropriate help system. So because I was in a build system, this is showing me the build system documentation. Uh, similarly, over here in the uh, color scheme file, it jumps me to the index for color schemes. And over here in the plugin, if you do the same thing, it jumps you to the API root documentation. Now, looking at this, you may notice if you have ever looked at the Sublime Text API documentation that this page looks perhaps a little familiar. And uh, if I go down to this link at the bottom where it says API reference and follow the link, it's gonna open that right up in my web browser and there is that exact part right there. Now you'll note if I follow this link to example plugins, the example plugins are displayed here. If I was to jump back, I can come up here and go over to example plugins and do the same thing and see those example plugins. But doing it one better, I can also hit the key and immediately open up that file to be able to look at. Other features in the system include using the question mark key to see a hierarchical table of contents of the help that you are currently looking at and using I to open the index. So if we wanted to know about event handler, event uh, listeners, we can see all of those here and we might want to know about the, the load and we can see load and load async and immediately jump to the appropriate location. Now that's just a brief overview of Snappy and what it is capable of. As I mentioned, not all of the official Sublime help is currently available. Most notably, the theme documentation is still missing. But by and large, it is a very useful tool. I've been using it in my own uh, work for the better part of a year and a half now, and I've also been actively developing it uh, during my live streams on my other channel. Now you may be saying, that looks pretty handy. Can I use that right now? And the answer is absolutely. Um, the package is not, because it's not finished, not officially released yet as I'm recording this video. So in order to install it, there's an extra one-time step you have to take to tell package control where to find these packages. Um, depending on when you're watching this, it might already be officially released, in which case you don't have to do this step and you could just try to install the package. So if it's been a while since I recorded this, you might want to try that. But this is a very simple step you need to do. Just open up the command palette and say PC add repo. And we can see this command package control add repository. Pick that. And down at the bottom of the window, we get this uh, prompt to add a GitHub or Bitbucket web URL or custom JSON repository URL. I'm going to paste in this JSON URL. And don't worry, there's a link to this down in the video description below. And hit enter, and that's all you need to do. The command has updated the preferences for your package control to be able to find these packages. Now we can go ahead and do install package. And after we wait for package control to load all of the packages, we can type snappy, and here it is. And hit enter, and it's installing the package. And we see this pop up that says hyperhelp has been installed. Now, the astute viewer will have noticed during the previous part of the video that the tab for the help window and some menu commands and command palette entries are labeled as hyperhelp. And that's because behind the scenes, Snappy is powered by a second package I've been working on in my spare time called hyperhelp, which adds a complete help system of a hypertext type nature, hence the name, to Sublime Text. And installing Snappy installs HyperHelp for you automatically. And by just closing that dialog, we can now go ahead and open the help just as we saw before. Now, if you're interested in HyperHelp and how that actually works, good news, because I've created a video for that. 
And there we have it. So that's just a brief taste of what is possible with Snappy. Now, there was the tease there that there is another package that powers Snappy called HyperHelp. It is a complete help-based system, or at least it aspires to be. It is also not finished. And if you'd like more information about that package and all of the features that it has available, stay tuned because in next week's video, we're going to be covering that. But that is, of course, the subject for the next video. So let's just go ahead and say, this is Odat Nerd telling you to have a sublime day.